Hi. Hi. Look, we got matching beanies. Yay. Twinsies. <laughs> Such dogs. Right. Here we are out in the frosty morning air to compare the 404.5 Z lens with TC 1.4 on it, making it a 560 millimeter F6.3 against 500 PF F5.6 F mount, which we'll also put on the 9Y FTZ adapter and compare the two. The autofocus speed, the sharpness, the image quality, you name it. So stay tuned to find out our verdict. And then hop in the light. Whee! <laughs> Nikon haven't yet brought out a native 500mm Z lens. From what we understand, they might not for quite a long time. It looks like they looked at the purchase history of people buying 300s that were putting converters on to get 400, and 500mm to put converters on to get 600. So Nikon have gone 400 and 600 and then 800 instead. So the logical question would be, how does this compare to the 500 PF, which is a lens of a similar kind of price range that perhaps those of you coming from the F mount might already have. Do you want to upgrade to something like this? Obviously this is a little bit longer, so it's gonna be a surprise when I put the 500 on and it gets a little bit wider, but I don't know if that's gonna be a problem really. So far focus is very snappy. Snappy is not the word snappy I want to use. Snappy from word snaps. Snaps. Because <laughs> it's Christmas. Exactly. So you've just put it on, so what's your first impression? Okay. What sort of focus is like? So far, autofocus seems to be just as sticky as with the 400. Is it fast? It is fast, although I think that has a lot to do with the camera more than the lens. The, the camera really helps the autofocus. I'm getting my full bird eye detection so far. The question is going to be whether I can catch them in flight. That's going to be the challenge. Have you used the 500 mil much in the past? Well, I used it a couple of times when we reviewed that nine, and I know that you had it. Yeah. Before we compared also it with 200 to 500 back in the day in Richmond Park. Oh gosh, we did it for years now. Uh, we are very seasoned YouTubers. <laughs> now, haven't tried 400 mil yet, but first impression about this: it's a good setup. It's okay. It's, it's not too heavy, but it is kind of heavy. I'm sure that the other lens is going to be heavier than this. The autofocus is quite sticky, which is nice. With a situation like this, obviously the birds are white, so I really need to underexpose to make sure that I got details in the feather, but the rest just becomes quite dark as well. So something to watch out for. The next challenge is gonna be you putting the 404.5 on and seeing if it's faster, because I went the other way around. Let's see, let's see if I, yeah, if I can see the difference between the two. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, yeah. well, you always know it's good if your voice goes more high pitched. <laughs> Well, a part of the cropping bit, it's a bit too close, but otherwise it's good. Yeah, all right. Not too shabby, okay. Um, although people say that 1.4 to the converter doesn't affect the performance of all those big exotic lenses, including 4.5-400, I still feel that it's another obstacle between the camera and the lens. So let's see what the dif difference is going to be. And also, I think I'm going to love this lens just for the simple reason. It's 560 instead of 500, so you'll get me a little bit close to the birds as well. So I have to keep that in mind before passing my judgment. Yes. There's a, there's a third guy joining in. Uh, 
So as with all long telephoto lenses, once you get the action going, it takes maybe a fraction of a second to focus on the bird, but once it got there, then it just sticks to it. And as long as you're planning good enough, I'm just using autofocus wide, and that performs really well. Tell me, can you immediately see a difference between the 500 PF and the 404.5 at 560 mil? I don't find those focus, you're right, there's a little bit, a little bit snappy on 400. Just a little bit, but it's, we're talking about fractions of milliseconds, but it's definitely there. 560 gets me a little bit closer for birds, but again, you will be in a different situation. So I would choose personally a longer reach over shorter reach. So 400 with teleconverter, I would have it on all the time, which means I really need something like 600 mil lens personally. I can tell you because this lens has a teleconverter, so it gives me a longer reach, even 560 or 500, I do get more shots. And by more shots, I mean I need to crop less, you know, and I do like to fill the frame with those birds. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm getting, like, I'm getting something there. Who's going to go through these shots at the end of the day? That's the question. You ready? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so cold. I know. <laughs> I am so cold is what I am. I don't know about ready. Ready is a relative term. We're doing all this for you, by the way. Right. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about early thoughts and impressions. We're going to look at the images on the computer later on. We're going to discuss that. But overall, the rendering, the sharpness, the autofocus speed. What's your impression so far? From what I can see, they look quite similar in a lot of ways. I mean, the, the 404.5 seems to have a slight edge because with the teleconverter, it's that little bit longer. So obviously you get a different depth of field, you get a longer focal length, so you're not actually having to crop as much. Saying that, when birds and things do come quite close, it's even more limiting than the 500. I've shot a lot with the 500 PF and I've never really had a problem with it. I always think that it performs very well. It's not too heavy. It focuses fairly quickly. On the Z9, it performs even better than on a Z6 or a D850 because you've got all those extra autofocus capabilities of the camera, which is very, very nice. Saying that, it's a little bit heavier than the 400 4.5. Indeed. Is it the F-mount tax? <laughs> it's the F-mount tax, that's it. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, as you mentioned, sometimes you're too far, sometimes you're too close. And that's obviously a prime lens thing. Yes, we all would want to have a zoom lens, maybe some 200 to 500, but the rendering is not going to be the same. So in terms of this, I think the 400 definitely wins it for me, but with its teleconverter attached. In my brief testing with it, I don't see any difference with the teleconverter attached and without teleconverter. Maybe tiny, tiny bit of difference, but we're not talking a big difference like you would see on FMAM, for example. Yeah. Now, if you've got 500 mil already, I don't see the point of upgrading unless you want to go all native Z glass. So I personally would suggest maybe wait for a couple of years, maybe upgrade some other lenses and then come back to this one later on. But if you don't have one already, 400 is very, very attractive choice. And the price-wise, it's reasonable for these type of lenses. If you need the focal distance like this, again, it's very good. If you look at 600 mil, it becomes a lot more expensive. So the next one up would be either 800. So the choice really is 400 or 800. How close do you need to be to the subject? Yeah. We've come back and had a look at the shots between the 400 and the 500 and can confirm that our findings out in the field are pretty accurate. Yeah, absolutely. A 400 is just a tiny bit sharper. So if you haven't got 500 mil already, then just get a 400 Z native glass and pretty much you'll be done with it. Maybe get a teleconverter as well. Now, if you've got a 500 PF already, then you really have to justify the upgrade because your 500 PF is really, really good. And 400, while a tiny bit better, I think would justify the cost of upgrade. But you do you. Exactly. 
I would also say that if I were looking at these photos in a lineup, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between which lens they were taken on. The difference is so negligible. And if you're hankering for more focal length on your 500 PF, you can always add a TC 14 E Mark III, and honestly, the results will be fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a like and a subscribe. And if you found this video super useful, there's super thanks as well. And tell us what you think about both lenses. Do you think 400 is better than 500? Or you're going to keep your 500 or 400 lens? Let us know in the comments below. We are filming ISO 400 F18. That's such a weird, a weird combination. Do you think we're going to be out of focus? I think we should get a, a boat to just take us across there. I have been on a boat on this lake, you know. The guy like in the van is standing. <laughs> on the gondola. Yeah. <laughs> they take me just across. Come on, birds, come closer. Caw-caw, caw-caw. <laughs> I tried. <laughs>